and welcome back to Rogers Railroad Report for the month of May 2011. In this month's edition, we've got some really cool new items to show you, starting with this Roundhouse 260 Southern Pacific Daylight Steamer and the matching passenger cars. These two Athern Genesis FP7 diesels and three Athern 77 foot Pullman cars, an Atlas U30C engine, and a variety of rolling stock just released. So what do you say we get rolling? We start off this month's edition with this RTR Old Time 260 steam engine in Southern Pacific Daylight Colors by Roundhouse. Pictured here, number 1603 comes fully assembled and ready for your layout in DC mode, which also includes an upgraded drive mechanism. Your engine does come equipped with a quick plug to run it in DCC mode. Each steamer has a prototype specific smokestack, dome, headlight, lead truck and tender, and of course each engine comes with the McHenry scale knuckle spring couplers already installed. With razor sharp painting and printing, this engine will be a real attention getter on your layout. Matching this delightful engine are these 450 foot overland passenger car set in Southern Pacific daylight colors. These cars are fully assembled and ready for your layout. The body of these cars have been mounted on couplers and 7 foot Commonwealth trucks. Each set comes with wire trust rods, molded plastic underframe with separately applied brake cylinders. And those good looking wheels are machined RP25 Profile 33 inch metal wheels. And what an impressive set with such razor sharp printing and painting with all the windows being super clear. Each passenger car has a raised roofing section running down the center of each car with green glazed windows. Each four pack set includes a baggage car, mail car, coach and business car. Be sure and contact us for special pricing. Next we have the FP7 A and B units with DCC and sound in the Black Widow Southern Pacific colors by Athern Genesis. These A and B units are completely assembled and ready to run in dual DC and DCC mode. These have the Genesis driveline with dynamically balanced five pole skew wound motor and dual flywheels. These also have directional constant lighting, screw mounted chassis, and individual window glass. And on board you'll find the factory installed Soundtrack Tsunami decoder with an assortment of sounds and functions. And of course both units have the standard McHenry scale knuckled spring couplers. And what's trailing these two engines is what's really got my attention. It's the new Athern 77 foot Pullman standard chair car decorated in Southern Pacific. Factory assembled and ready to run. These passenger cars are outstanding. Each of them includes a full interior. In fact, I even saw little towels on the headrest of all the chairs. Full underbody detail and a discurt version to match the prototype. Each has constant lighting interior. No more of that silly flickering as it goes over tracks. And the diaphragms are operational. The recommended minimum radius is 24 inches. And now we're going to change gears and switch from passenger trains to freight. Which brings us to this new Atlas U30C Phase 3 engine with Milwaukee colors. The features on this beauty are dual DC and DCC decoder, golden white constant LEDs in directional lighting, antenna detail where appropriate per road name, die cast underframe, 5 pole skewed armature motor with dual flywheels for optimum performance at all speeds. Detailed crew members, snow plow and separately applied drop steps. The minimum radius on this engine is 22 inches. And our U30 seems to be moving a pulpwood flat car by Walters. Two Athern cars, a Burlington Northern 60 foot flat car with a 45 foot trailer. Behind that is a UTLX 13,000 gallon acid tank car. A GATX service 20,000 gallon tank car by Genesis. And we have another Athern Southern Pacific 50 foot covered gondola. And bringing up the rear is our Canadian Northern three window wood caboose by Roundhouse. And of course these are just some of our freight cars that are high end detailed items that include KD style couplers. Be sure and check out our website for more new releases. Well that's it for this month. Be sure and subscribe if you haven't done so already so you don't miss any of the future Roger Railroad reports. So until next month. 
happy modeling.